Hello, everybody. A warm welcome to the Wine with Jimmy channel. Delighted to have you on board and thank you so much for stopping by. This is a wine educational channel designed to help those of you that are really getting to grips and studying the world of wine for things like wine qualifications. So, of course, you can enjoy it more, you can understand it more, but of course, you can pass your exams. So welcome to the Wines of the World for the Diploma of the WSET. This is North East Italy. So this is a multi-part series, uh, seven series in North East Italy. And we're looking at a Val Policella as a part of Veneto on this section. And Val Policella is split into six parts. So here we are on part one, the introduction and location. This part is free content, but parts two through to six are only available on my e-learning portal over at www.winewithjimmy.com. Please have a look, sign up and subscribe for extra content, short written answer questions, uh, flashcards, but of course, all of that exclusive video content. If you have any comments or questions or concerns, you can get in touch by commenting on this video below. It's always great to hear what you have to say. And also make sure you click like and subscribe because every little helps. If you want to get in touch via social media, you'll find all of the handles at the bottom of every slide. So on this section, we are going to look at a very um, gentle introduction to Val Policella around a little brief history the etymology and then the geology of this area uh, before we'll move into things like grape varieties onwards from part two. Here we are then talking about the history of this rather famous wine region and there you are. So this is only the slide we'll look at for, uh, for history, but it is important nonetheless to talk about this. So we are talking about wines that are quite famous here since sort of antiquity, going back to Roman times. The wine Recito, uh, Retiso uh, was known very, very well known here, uh, mentioned many times by famous um, authors, polymaths, uh, um, historians, poets, you name it. So people like Cornelius uh, Columella, who wrote a, a very important book on uh, um, uh, um, countryside matters. Uh, Pliny the Elder, who is pictured just here. Virgil, Martial as well. They all agree on one thing. The uh, Raetian wine, which is known as Vino Retiso, as you'll see there, is produced in the hills around Verona, and it is considered a masterpiece. So very well thought of the um, likely Pasito sweet wines from this area. What about the etymology of Val Policella? Well, we're not 100% sure on this. Uh, so the origins are a little bit uncertain. Uh, but we have uh, a few mentions here. And the first one is in a decree by Frederick Barbarossa, what a wonderful name, in 1177, found that the first time the name of, you'll see it up there, the first writing here, Valpolesella, I believe you would say, uh, is thought to derive from a mixture of Latin and Greek. Uh, and that's where we get the name uh, Valis Polisellae. So, it goes Val Policella, Valis Policella, and eventually in modern day Val Policella. Um, we're still not clear if this name is really more of a legend or a myth, uh, but it's remained until today. Uh, and it's a clear testimony, really, to the hills of Val Policella have always been a paradise for the cultivation of high quality vines. Uh, and there you are with the. Uh, uh, the wonderful um, uh, spill of wine there to outline the, the landscape from Valpolicella Classico uh, to Valpolicella and the Oriental. So a little bit on the geology before we wrap up this session, this short first session. Um, so there is the map, but we are not looking at any um, human geography here, no cities or anything like that. This is all physical geography in terms of 
how it looks in terms of altitude and uh, valleys, etc. Um, now, Verona is actually just to the south of all of this green area. Lake Garda is, is firmly to the west and uh, places like Bardolino, Sermione around there. And if you were to head continuously to the east um, for about an hour, uh, about an hour on the train, you'll get to Venice, just over an hour. Uh, so here we have our landscape. So the Valpolicella area is immediately to the north of the city of Verona, gorgeous city, famous for things like the Vinitaly. Uh, it has the gorgeous amphitheatre here as well, Juliet's, Juliet's balcony. Uh, it's a very pretty city to visit, of course, uh, and one of the main cities that you would fly to to discover the north of Italy as well. Uh, the other cities, of course, being the hub city of Milan, but also Venice as well. Uh, now, the foothills in the north of the wine area have this kind of limestone and clay and sometimes volcanic soil origin, which are cooler than the soils in the south towards the rivers. And this actually slows down ripening. Uh, so the grapes have much greater levels of acidity uh, and they ripen more slowly as well, producing wines of more greater con concentration and potentially more tannic structure. So this is what we would say is the foothill area. And this is the foothills of the Monte Lessini. So this is the, uh, the, the, the Lessini mountain range, which comes down. It's a, a wonderful, wonderful promontory that comes down from the Alps. And it's quite a far reaching foothills of the Alps coming all the way down and mirroring Lake Garda. So this creates foothills where you're going to find much more concentrated wines. Now, the soils in the southern section of the Appalachian, which are in a topography which is flatter, they are more sandy with some loose gravels to them, and they're generally warmer in their, um, their heat absorption. As a result, the wines tend to be um, more fruitier with less acidity and lower concentration. Uh, so they tend to be nice sort of fruit forward examples, but without any of the structure that you'd find from the foothills in the north of the area. And as you can see, really, um, the, the viticultural area tends to be uh, anywhere from about sort of 60 metres up to normally about 600. But most of them looking around the low slopes, the medium slopes and maybe the hills. So about one to 350 metres, that kind of area. OK, so that actually is the end of our first video, a slightly shorter versed video, but we have split this into much more of a, a larger series. Please do join me for uh, part two on the key grape varieties of Val Policella. And we'll be looking at the likes of Corvina Veronese, but some of the minor varieties as well, like uh, Molinara, Rondanella and Corvenone. Uh, so please join me for that. If you want to join, you'll have to go across to www.winewithjimmy.com and subscribe to my e-learning portal to gain access to these exclusive videos. If you have any comments, questions or concerns, please do get in touch. You can do so by commenting on this video below. And if you do find yourself in the United Kingdom, then please come and see me at one of my establishments for a glass, a glass or a bottle, likely a bottle. I've been Jimmy Smith. Ciao for now. Bye bye.